<laughs> At first, I thought it was mouth to the chair. What I was doing? I was going to like people. On, I'm serious. The international of the international. So you have people from different places. Yeah, guys, welcome to my channel. It is the first time you are seeing my face and my faces. <laughs> My name is Nsongra Willy. I share content and master's application live as an international student in France. I do vlog and share that useful content like this one. So if it's the kind of things that you have interest in, do kindly like, subscribe, be a part of the community and mm -hmm. I promise you won't regret it. Okay? So in today's video, we are going to be sharing with you or I invited someone, a special somebody yeah to come and share with us about our program here um in france she's actually a doctor and yeah. she's doing public <laughs> health in france so i'm going to not give the floor to her to introduce herself first of all and then we go right into the question so hi guys my name is kosi and i am a medical doctor who is no longer a medical doctor who is currently studying public health in france why france um i think because I love Europe. Honestly, there's no plenty talk in it. I really, really love the idea of Europe. And when I was searching for where I was going to study my, my master's, I had like several options and I was like, okay, you love Europe, then just go to Europe. I don't know, really. I don't know. I just love France, basically. Yeah, and I think because you also did your, your bachelor's in Europe too. Yes, yes. So yes, I did. I studied medicine in Belarus. So it was quite easy for me to like, okay, let's just go back to Europe and continue okay. okay that is great um so how did you get to find out about your program okay so while i was like in my master's in public health search honestly i wasn't at first i wasn't thinking france i wasn't thinking europe i was like okay master's in public health online and then it's like the gods knew or like you know the apple people somehow somehow they knew because i was just scrolling somewhere and i saw an ad <laughs> i saw an ad or something about like public health in Paris, mm -hmm. right? So that was like the first time I was like, oh, it's actually possible to do this in Paris. And then I checked and but it wasn't my school I had seen, it was some other school, but okay. that was for M2 actually. So I was like, okay, which other school does public health mm -hmm. in Paris? And my school came up and I was like, okay, this is this school, this is the one. Yeah. <laughs> is the one. Guys, you know, normally I used to tell people, you can just like search online masters in this and yeah, you see a lot of yeah, options yeah, so yeah, i'm, I'm glad i'm seeing person saying this is what they did and that's what led them to yeah whatever they're doing right now and what was like the procedure for you did you have to go to campus and just directly to the school okay so when i had seen that right i was like okay let me go on youtube and like check and see like how is it are, are they actually human beings studying in front <laughs> because before i didn't know that they were like people were studying here you get so I went, I, I did the whole like binge watching of like people that, and that was when I, that was when I wrote her channel. <laughs> so I was like, that was when I knew that, okay, you had to go through camp, that there was something called Campus France mm -hmm. and that you had to go through it. So I went, I don't, honestly, I don't remember how it was step by step. But I know I went to Campus France and like you had to create an account and blah, blah, blah. You had to look for courses and um, I did. And luckily my school was there. And so I also went to my school, my school's website, and they had mentioned that um, the applications was like in two steps. So you okay. would apply from the school and also apply from the campus friends of your country. Okay. So I did like double application. So I applied through campus friends and I also applied from my school. Okay. But then I got my, my school got back to me before campus, campus friends got back to me. So I got the admission from my school even before like the second phase of the campus friends thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I think oh, it's just okay. similar to my own school that I applied mm -hmm. to because they also said you applied through them and applied to campus mm -hmm. friends. But what happened was that when I was applying to them, I just just don't know. I did not see that part of campus friends. So it was after I got admission. That's another like, oh, you have to go to campus, campus friends. Right. So I just went to campus friends with my admission yeah. and then for my visa, and that that was it. So mm -hmm. I think for this kind of school that like you have to do campus friends and and them. Yeah. Normally, if for example campus friends um application deadline it's already over what? just go to them to the and then yeah. it's, it's okay yeah okay, that, that's great so like your program how is the structure like in terms of is this so intensive compared to like no that it's <laughs> see i studied medicine so when i tell you it's intensive it isn't sometimes i look at myself I'm like okay is this <laughs> is this it like so classes start by nine right mm -hmm. and end by four 
but then because i live a bit far from my school okay. um i have to if i don't wake up by if i not left the house by 7 30 i probably would be very late mm-hmm. to school so i have to i let's say i leave the house 7 45 to yeah 7 45 ish and then i i leave school before and then the the courses are like the <laughs> they literally after after your life no i'm serious like we have like <clears throat> several projects you can be doing at once and then the deadline like there was this time i had three deadlines on the same day different projects <laughs> i'm sorry you're like okay which one do i which one do i put first which one do i put second which one do i put up mm. so it's really oh, god it's my thing you've adjusted now i mean yeah you're, you're trying to find a, okay <laughs> we'll talk about like detail about you know studying in france yeah doing some other side mm-hmm. things and yeah. then trying to leave and not really integrating the french culture we're going yeah. to talk about it in another video so we are going to go into much detail so mm-hmm. if you're watching this one first so make sure you watch the other one so i don't want to like go into deep 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 first but just for the sake of this video what would you say has been like um the first it's a culture shock challenges first you know coming first i know you have already had experience living in yeah. europe so maybe my notes have been so huge but Specific to France, what would you say was the culture kind of, shock mm-hmm. in yes. school or generally in France? Maybe you can do the first, the two. I don't know. What do you think? It's the bizu. The... <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, cuckoo. Like, what the? Which should I go to? Which should I go to? <laughs> you know, at first, I thought it was mouth <laughs> to the chair. <laughs> I was doing <laughs> I was going to like, <laughs> begging people, and I'm serious. But <laughs> my friend told me it's not that, it's actually cheek to cheek, but yeah. then you do. Something so weird. Like, I'm like, what is this? I'm like, okay, I don't speak that sound. Why do you mean that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. like, no, I'm adjusting. And... <laughs> so it's like our hug, you know the hug we do, right? It's that's, uh, that's their hug. Literally, oh that was so weird. Last to me. Last, last, I'm just imagining how you're feeling. I'm like, what is this? Every time, I'm like, oh my god. Okay. So, yeah, that was like, for honestly, that was like my biggest. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the language, man. I knew that. Mm-hmm. Okay, people are going to be speaking French. So, that wasn't it. it was that his thing. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Why do I have to? Why do I have to? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So yes, that was the biggest shock mm-hmm. for me. Yeah, over mm-hmm. then. And then in, in terms of school, hmm, what was it? I think it was realizing that because when I studied in Belarus, right, the class was it was international, but it wasn't because we had lots of Nigerians. Mm-hmm. But now my class is like when it's a, it's the international of the international. So you have people from different places, yeah. different characters, different. Mm-hmm. So different some... ways of thinking, different ways of being. Things. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. For me, at least, for example, in my own school, yeah. normally, I mean, in Nigeria, when you are coming to school, you're just serious, do your schoolwork and so on and go. But literally, sometimes you see, you know, there is a week that there's vacation for like the yeah, school. Yeah. Yeah. And people literally be already planning for to travel, you know? They already <laughs> yes, have plans. Yes, people coming with yes, their boxes yes, and yes. like, but guy, we have project after. Exactly. Like, you know, Leave it so chill. <laughs> I'm not thinking about how you're going to finish the project and so on. So yeah. It's a different way of seeing things. I'm like, okay, yeah. that's just about school. You're a That kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think that was that was some of the yeah the, the shocks for me when I came. No, my, like people <laughs> of different characters. Yeah. Way of thinking, way of talking. Sometimes you say something as a joke and it will not be a joke. Yeah. And sometimes they'll say something that is their own joke and to me it's not, <laughs> not, <a> joke. <laughs> it's not <a> joke. <laughs> So yeah, that it was mm-hmm. like, yeah. That yeah. was the second culture shock thing. Yeah. You know for me what what I used to say when I experienced I'm like okay let, let's be learning this because when you go to the workplace who knows what you're going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, so actually. Just is as a learning ground for you know for the future. For managing knowing how to manage <laughs> and fit into people <laughs> basically. Okay, um so specifically to health um health sector because yeah. you know most, most persons they want to do conference study like medicine or <laughs> nursing and so on what would you like say to them yeah what would you say so to basically them? if you know the say if you don't know the language please forget it but if you know french right i you can you can explore that option because i have a i have a doctor friend here and she was like kosi would you like to work 
like become a doctor here and honestly i don't want to go back to medicine so that's by the way but she told me if i wanted to like practice i had to work first learn french up to like a native or bilingual speaker one mm -hmm. the normal french and then learn medical french mm -hmm. which is also some other thing so i'll be able to like talk among my colleagues and all of that and also be able to talk to like patients mm -hmm. so i think if you are like let's say you want to do nursing and all those core clinical medical things it's to learn french not like bonjour server kind of level like learn french like somebody that was born here mm -hmm. and has lived here all their life because mm -hmm. you have to be able to speak to your patients communicate with them yeah. explain explain <laughs> their conditions mm. to them so it's yeah it might, it's not the best thing for you to do if you don't know the language now yeah. just i think it to be easier for persons that even to just start from like you're just finishing secondary school for example yeah and then you're thinking of studying uh -huh. then and now okay oh. explore them mm -hmm. but if you had if you've already done like medicine in nigeria you spent like how many years six years yeah now, how many <laughs> time, and you want to like switch or you've already done nursing or if you I think it's it's going to be hard. It's yeah. easier if you're just starting. And, and if you're starting, we don't even know if like the they will teach medicine in English. No, I think it's going to be they'll teach in French. So, so you have to fit the whole in French, <laughs> and yeah. then before you now, surely a doubt they'll have it in English. So you just do it in French. But so just so you know, this is just based on own personal experience. Yeah, you can do your you know do your search. <laughs> you want to like jump in? It's 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 you just make your choice. Mm -hmm. But this is just based on our own opinions and our own experiences so just so that you should put that out okay there. yeah okay <laughs> i think the next question i want to have asked you is that um for your public health now yeah what are the different career options for you that you might take okay so first of all <clears throat> the way my school is structured right it's not like most public health schools i've seen so first of all our course is two years mm -hmm. instead of one year and usually most public health courses I see, like let's say in the uk and in the us it's usually one year and um, for here, the first year, your M1 is for, they give you like a, I just want to give a background before I go into career options. Okay. Basically. <clears throat> so the first year you have like a, a mini, what's it called? Um, introduction to public mm -hmm. health. Yeah. So you're dipping your foot in. They touch like every, all the different aspects. They, talk, they touch epidemiology. They touch biostatistics. They do global health, like all the different mini aspects of public health. But then in your second year, you have a choice to specialize. So mm. that is where now what you specialize on depends on where you want to work right mm -hmm. so if you want to become an epidemiologist you have to go and do your specialization in epidemiology mm -hmm. if you want to become a biostat a public health biostatistician you go and do biostats which i wouldn't be doing <laughs> if you want to go into like health policy health management healthcare management and all of that you go and specialize in health policy and management now i met somebody an alumni from my school that she works in consultancy and what she did was that she didn't specialize so in her okay. second year she did a bit of everything so my school lets you pick what you want okay based on what you think is good for you okay so you can do a bit of everything and with that you can go into like public health consultants so there's so many man you can do so many things you can be a public health specialist you can be a health project manager a health programs mm -hmm. manager you can decide to go into biostats you can even go into research like public health research there's a lot like okay what's the name of your school like, no you never even mentioned <laughs> <laughs> the name of my school is um man a calls i'm gonna say the french and then the english so, <laughs> the french is a calls day hot man don't forget that on sound it's it's a long some public something like that so anyways i'm going to put it in the description yes, yes, yes. In the comment for section. sure it's, for sure it's <laughs> E H E S P. Okay. E H E S P. Okay. But the English form of it is French School of Public Health. Okay. So yeah, it is the Public Health School of France. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can, we yeah. Can yeah. 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 So I think I've already asked you all the questions, although yeah. I wasn't like pulling the right order. Like <laughs> I've already talked about challenges and so yeah. on. So guys, we're going to end this specific video yet so thank you for watching up to this point i hope you enjoy or we hope that you enjoyed yeah. it and it was useful and you were able to gain insights that's going to help you towards your own you know search for your next career path yeah. or whatever yeah. thing you want to do and if so please like this video please share do. it to other persons that might find it useful okay mm -hmm. and subscribe to join this community you know we have to grow guys so please subscribe okay thank you thank and you see you in our next video love you bye Hi guys, you know what I'm saying?
Okay. <laughs> <laughs>